Hi, in this lecture, we will try to solve few examples on the concept of clocks. Try to understand this question. When the angle between the hands of a clock, you need to figure it out when the time was given. So the point is this, what is the angle between the hands of a clock when the time is 340? Guys, uh, uh, the observation is this, when the time is 340, what you need to observe? So, if you observe in the clock, okay, let me uh, try to draw a clock, okay, yeah, uh, okay, so 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So guys, uh, the point here is this. When the time is 340, when the time is uh, 340, so let's say I can say uh, I am writing approximately. So definitely your hour hand will be pointing between 3 and 4. Okay. How about your minute hand? Yeah, your minute hand exactly. Yeah, uh, your minute hand is exactly when the time is 340. So you need to figure it out this particular angle. Okay, so 3 to 8, how many hours gap is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hours gap. So 5 into every hour will give you 30 degrees. So 5 into 50 is what? 150 degrees. Because every hour space between every hour there is a 30 degrees gap. So it's going to be 150 degrees space. Now what happened now is this guys. Guys if you closely observe the points here. Guys actually when the time is 3 o'clock you know this is your hour hand and this is your minute hand so when the time is 3 o'clock it will be like this so in a span of 40 minutes definitely your hour hand will tilted for 40 minutes no your hour hand will tilted for how many minutes 40 minutes so the point is this out of 150 in 40 minutes, the hour hand should be tilted for some degrees. So, you know the facts about uh, our hand. Our hand will tilted in one minute, it is going to tilt half a degree. In one minute, it's going to be half a degree. Then tell me, in 40 minutes, it's going to be how many degrees? 20 degrees. So, from 150, you have to subtract 20 so that you can get your answer as what 130 degrees okay 130 degrees so very simple concept 3 to 8 there is 5 hours gap so 5 3 is a 150 degrees but your hour hand is tilted for 40 minutes which means okay your hour hand is tilted for 40 minutes every minute is going to tilt for half a degree then 40 minutes it's going to be 20 degrees that's it when the time is 340 angle between minute hand and hour hand is going to be 130 degrees. So this is how you can get your answers very easily. Okay, hope that everybody understood this particular question. These type of questions being asked in IBM, CTS, okay, TCS, NMAT and ISET. Okay, we'll try to solve one more question based on this. What is the angle between the hands of a clock when the time is uh, 920? Guys, if you closely observe, when the time is 9.20, let's say this is your clock, okay, uh, 9.20, so 9.20, 20 means, okay, so this is 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. 
so when the time is 9:20 definitely the our hand is in between 9 and 10 nearly it's going to be 9 okay but how about the minute hand minute hand is definitely will be like here so i want this particular angle okay i want this particular angle yes or no so assume it is you know it's near to this particular angle guys <coughs> when the time is 920 guys look at here 1 2 3 4 5 hours gap is here okay so 5 into 30 it's going to be what 150 okay 5 into 30 it's going to be what 150 but ask yourself a question the actually the our hand is going to be like this this is the actual position so it's going to be tilted for 20 minutes extra no it's going to be tilted for 20 minutes extra which means the actual angle is going to be let me draw you for you 9 and if this is 10 okay if this is 4 so like like a straight line almost a straight line you can get your angle so my point is this previously we have subtracted from 150 to something but in 20 minutes in 20 minutes okay in 20 minutes definitely the our hand will tilt for 10 degrees no because 1 minute it's going to be half a degree then in 20 minutes it's going to be 10 degrees no so now i have to add 10 degrees to it and it will become 160 degrees and it will become what 160 degrees okay so this is how this is how you have to get your answers okay guys so the point is very easy whether you have to add or whether you have to subtract based on that you know you can definitely get your answers very easily okay hope everybody understood this particular question so answer for this question is going to be what yeah answer for this particular question is going to be what 160 degrees okay 160 degrees please uh, make sure ask yourself a question what i am going to add or what i am going to subtract okay once you know that the job is a cake walk very easy everything we did our hand in 1 hour 30 degrees in 5 hours 150 degrees our hand in 1 minute half a degree 20 minutes 10 degrees whether this 10 degrees should be added to that 150 or subtracted from that 150 is important observe the uh, diagram okay next question we'll try to answer our next question if the minute hand of a clock moved 300 degrees okay uh 300 degrees okay how many degrees has our hand moved guys what is the speed of the our hand half a degree in what 1 minute okay in 1 minute it's going to rotate how many degrees half a degree if the minute hand of a clock moved 300 degrees okay so what is the speed of the minute hand in 1 minute minute hand will rotate how many degrees 6 degree so to rotate the 300 degrees it will take how many minutes so can i tell you uh, to travel 300 degrees it will take 300 divided by 6 degrees it's going to be 50 minutes yeah so the point is this our our hand in 1 minute it's rotated half a degree in 50 minutes it's going to rotate how many degrees 25 degrees so answer for this question is what here 25 degrees so this is how you can get your answers very easily so these type of questions can be asked in banking cts and tcs mat and iset examinations hope you guys understood this particular session thank you